after watching this tutorial, you will be creating modern UI design like this. We will design our all requirements in Photoshop, and implement it in our Android Studio. Or you can use these alternatives. Don't forget to subscribe my channel, and hit that bell icon. Open Photoshop, go to File, select New, I'm going with 1080 by 800 resolution, set the background color to white. Then click on OK. Now select this pen tool. Here you can set the color of your choice. Now draw mask as shown, you can create any random shapes like this. Now duplicate the shape 1, by pressing Ctrl plus J on your keyboard, for the top shape layer, change the color to light violet. Then select selection tool and drag the shape layer little bit down, now place the shape 1 copy, below shape 1. Go to edit, transform, select rotate. and slightly rotate it. Adjust the position little bit. Now create a new project for buttons. Here I am changing the height to 300, and set the background to transparent. Now select this rounded rectangle tool, I'm using the same color. Then draw the mask as shown. Align it to center. Now select this text tool and type your text. Align the text to middle. Double click on text and change the color to white. Now double click on rounded rectangle 1, and turn on drop shadow, set distance to 10, spread to 25, size to 15, then click on OK. Now you will have a nice drop shadow effect. Now save the files. Select JPEG. Then click on OK. For the button select PNG, then click on OK. I have created these kind of buttons, you are free to download it from my website, download link is provided in the description. Now open your Android Studio, then delete this text view, make sure you select 1080 by 1920 resolution. Now change the constraint layout to relative layout, handling relative layout is very easy, you no need to set any constraints for that. Now I will copy the images which I have created in Photoshop. You can use your logo. Right click on drawable and paste the images. Then click on OK. Now 
Now hit enter. Here I'm adding a frame layout. Set width to match parent and height to 340 dp. Close the frame layout. And set background to your background image. Inside frame layout create a new text view, set width to match parent and height to match parent. And type your text. Set the text color to white. text size to 30 here you can use any font of your choice Align the text to middle. Set the top margin to 20 dp. Now create an image view, set width to 150 dp and height to 150 dp. Set the layout gravity to center. I forgot to add the linear layout, add a linear layout. Set width to match parent and height to match parent. Set orientation to vertical. Then close the linear layout, cut this last part. and paste it below frame layout, press ctrl plus alt plus l to align them properly. Linear layout places the contents one below another. Now set the top margin to the image view. And put your logo of your choice. After frame layout create a edit text for email and password. Set the layout width to 250 dp and height to 50 dp. Set the layout gravity to center. Now for the round corners, right click on drawable. Select new, drawable resource file. Enter the name. Then click on OK. Now change selector to shape. Create a new solid, with white color. Create a stroke with gray color and set width to 1.4 dp. Now add corners with radius of 25 dp.
Now come back to XML part. Then add this round corner background to edit text. Set top margin to 20 dp. Give hint as email. Set left padding to 17 dp. Now I will copy paste the edit text. Change email to password. Now create another image view. Set width to 260 dp and height to 70 dp. Set the layout gravity to center. Set top margin to 20 dp. Then add your sign up button. Finally create another text view, set the layout width to 250 dp and height to 50 dp. Set the layout gravity to center. Set the top margin to 20 dp. And type your text. Set the color to black. Align the text to center. Set top margin to 5 dp. You can download the XML code from the link in the description. Now run the app. 2000 years later. To remove this action bar, open your main activity.java and type this. Now again run your app. This time your action bar has successfully removed. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe for more videos.